Hi everyone. Sorry that this is uh, not as far up to par as the other one was. I spent last night doing this. Oh, it is currently the 4th of August for me posting this. Um, <clears throat> I spent most of the night in the ER. But um, I wanted to toss this on here so you guys would have the next the next um, entrance clue for the giveaway. So I finished Dustin Decay. Here it is. And again, of course, it does not actually look like this. This is a paperback. Finished copy. Bam. Bam. Um, <clears throat> in Dustin Decay, we find um, Benny and his friends. Um, it has been about six months since the events in Rotten Ruin. And I actually love this one even more than book one. Just for the fact that we're not just specifically in Benny's POV or point of view. We're actually in a little bit of everybody's. Everybody gets a chance to um, have their like point of view told at, at a certain point throughout the book. Sometimes it's only just a few paragraphs and then it pops to the next chapter. Sometimes a little bit, it's a little bit more than that. So it just depends. <clears throat> Sorry about all the noise. <laughs> I didn't take my allergy pills last night, so I'm working through it. Um, so basically on this one, you know, the, the kids, uh, Benny, Lila, Chong, and Nix, they're, they're growing up a little bit more. Benny's no longer the little skinny kid that he used to be. He's now more lean, and I guess he's toting a six-pack abs, and you know, the normal things of <clears throat> of what happens when you start working out a lot. So, um, he's, he's really turning, they're really turning into the people that they're going to become for, you know, the rest of the series, which is really great that it's happening in book two. Um, I know that I kind of sort of complained about book one being so incredibly long. Uh, book two is, let's see... Book two is 519 pages, but it was so good. It was so good. Um, a few different things have changed. There's a twist about the zombies in this one. Um, that well, actually, there's technically there's two twists going on with the disease, the zombies, and of course, I'm not gonna tell you what because I don't do spoilers. And uh, the other thing is that towards the end of the book, if you're a sap like I am, that I will cry about, uh, you know, over a book, you know, make sure you have a box of tissues with you because we lose a very beloved character in the end of this one. And that kind of sets the theme for book three, which I have right here. Sitting in the ER last night, I got through uh, about a fourth of the way. So I got some reading done in the ER, which was, of course, always good. Well, um, that's about all I have to say for this one. Um, you can read, of course, the actual review that is above or below this. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube at currently, then um, check out the website, www.crossroadreviews.com, on August the 6th through the 10th, and you can uh, watch the videos, get the questions, answer them on the site, and win the whole series. So you will actually win a paperback copy of Rotten Ruin and Destin Decay and a hardback copy of Flesh and Bone and Fire and Ash, which comes out on the 13th. Um, and then you can also win a, a my ARC of Fire and Ash. So there will be two winners. I'm debating if I want to add more. I know that there are two ebooks that are on Amazon. I might go ahead and add those as well. So it just depends on how many people uh, sign up to win. So for this day's question, if you had to choose a type of zombie, be it from The Rotten Ruin, if you've actually read the series, if it, Resident Evil zombies, um, Night of the Living Dead zombies, uh, The Force of Hands and Teeth zombies, um, World War Z zombies, what kind of zombies would you want to deal with in, in this world? In your in your world viewpoint, what kind of zombies would you want to deal with? So make sure you comment below um, on the physical website, not on YouTube, uh, with your answer and enter to win. See you guys tomorrow.